All right, guys, if you want to watch the only the tutorial and forget about the vlog, uh, you guys can uh, go to the minute right here, and that'll bring you right to the tutorial if you don't want to see the vlog. But I encourage you guys to watch that vlog because that vlog is very cool. And you know, I'm just starting out, so it's going to be a little weird at first, but you know, it's not that bad. I'm doing this for a little bit now today, and I'm getting to get used to it. And it's really not that bad. I went out in public a few times, and you know, I kind of like it kind of gives me a new perspective on who I am you know but uh yeah click on this in this minute and you guys be right brought right to the tutorial all right what's up guys we're gonna be traveling to Morgantown today to get a new hat for the beach because the one I got right now is kind of shitty looking it's got like gunk all over it, and every time I try to wash it doesn't work too well so we about to hop in here in Morgantown Get a new hat. See you guys when I get there. Did you miss me? I know I missed you. I can't believe you think it ain't happening with you, man. Look. First time, she was in my math class. Long hair, brown skin with the fat ass. Sat beside me, used to laugh. Alright, guys, this is loud as fuck in this world out there. But, uh, we here in Morgantown. Time to get this hat. It's a nice ass beautiful day out here today. We got a nice area to play some basketball. Football, soccer, if you really want. We're about to enter the mountain layer over here. This is where all the nightly activities or at least the yeah. Okay. An approved nightly activity. We're about to get in here and get my hat. We got a hell of a selection. This is gonna be hard. I think we're gonna go with this one. Kind of like a khaki look. There's a little bit of between this one and that one. I don't know which one I should get. I think I'm gonna get this one. Though. Yeah, we'll come on. Alright, speed back in this loud ass garage. Got the hat, box it up. I really don't know why they box it up, but they box it up. Why is it so loud? It makes no fucking sense. Alright, but we back to the truck, baby. Right, well, as I was saying, you couldn't hear me because there was a damn fan in the garage for some weird reason. I'm gonna head back home and then I'm gonna teach you guys how to clean your windshield and make it streak free. It doesn't really show up well on camera, but you guys know, you guys should know, you can kind of see it right there with the light glimmering in it. But you got streaks on your windows from when you're cleaning them usually. The oils from all the plastic on the dash comes up in the sun because it evaporates off. And it creates this like scum that's on your windshield. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean that off. Make it streak free, make it look clear as day. Alright? Show you guys when we get back. Alright guys, we back. We're gonna right now the truck's a little dirty. Doesn't look like it on the camera though, but if I zoom up to it, you can really tell. Got a little, little bit of schmutz on there. So I'm gonna clean that. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to clean your windshield and make it streak free. Because you know, no one likes driving around when it's nighttime and have it be all dirty when you're driving. All right guys, this is the stuff you'll need to clean your windshield and make it streak free on the inside. This is what the uh, solvent will look like after you are finished. Inside right here is mostly water but there's a little bit of uh it doesn't matter what kind of dish soap you use you can use any kind of dish soap you want but you use a little bit of this you use probably about up to here i'd say on the windex bottle or any spray bottle that's your sort but you use uh that much dish soap and then you peel about the same amount up with vinegar and then you fill the rest up with water give it a shake and then you get a little bit of soapy water like that, but that de degreases your windshield for you. And it'll make it streak free with the vinegar because it smoothens over it. 
All right, guys, go check it out. I like to use microfiber cloth on my win windows because it let it leaves it's less uh, likely to scratch your windows. But you want to make sure, like this one, we have stuff on it from the wash. You want to make sure that your clothes don't leave anything on it, like that one just did right there. You have a, you have a little bit of lint on them, but that's okay because it'll stick into the stick into it because it's microfiber. But as long as you use microfiber. You're good to go for your windows. What you want to do, you want to give it a little spray on the rag itself. Just enough for it so it's, you can feel the dampness on there. The smell won't be that great because of the vinegar, but it does its job. You want to go underhand and just go up and down like that. That way it'll be a nice and even, even lines with each other. And it's less likely that you'll see any, uh, streaks left in the windows but just like that that's all you have to do there you guys go you can see it's a nice glossy finish now you almost see no streaks on anything show you up near the tent you really don't see anything streak wise is i mean you can see the reflection of that's almost perfect you don't see really much of any streaking going on but I encourage you guys to try it yourself. I mean, it really does work. You know, you don't really see any any streaks at all. But yeah, guys, this really does work. I hope you guys like it. If you guys if you guys really liked it and it worked for you, I encourage you guys to subscribe and like my video. See you guys in the next one.